की कथाओं का हम लोग सुन रहे हैं उनमें से जबकि वो इस नवों ने यह वर्णन किया चैतन्य महाप्रभु जी ने जब शब्द साधन के विषय में पूछा तो वर्णाश्रम धर्म कर्म या जो तपस्या ये सब को अतिक्रम करके शुद्ध भक्ति की बात है और वो शुद्ध भक्ति भी कोई रसी गुरु महान पुरुष की कृपा से ही संभव है वैष्णव की कृपा से ही संभव है नहीं तो भक्ति का अनुशीलन करते हुए बीच में ही रह जाते ऊपर की बात को पकड़ नहीं पाते इसलिए कहा है ऐसे रसिक भक्तों का संग्रह और उनके साथ कथाओं का श्रवण कीर्तन करते हुए कोई हृदय में भाव उदय वो भाव कैसे शांत दास सख वात्सल और मत ये पांच प्रकार का भाव है पांच भावों में भी भक्ति दो प्रकार से है ये ऐश्वर्य भाव से और ये माधुर्य भाव से ऐश्वर्य भाव में संभ्रम संकुद के द्वारा भक्ति कर रहे भजन कर रहे भगवान कहते हैं मैं इससे तृप्त नहीं होता न प्रसन्न होता मैं जितना माधुर्य भाव में प्रसन्न होता हूँ उतना हर किसी में नहीं इसलिए कोई मुझको पाना चाहे भजन करना चाहे माधुर्य भाव में प्रजवासियों के अनुगत में उनके भावों के प्रति लुप्त कोई जो कोई व्यक्ति भजन करता है सब उस भाव को प्राप्त करता है अतः इस माधुर्य भाव को ही प्राप्त करने का प्रयास करें तो माधुर्य भाव में भी शांत अस्त्र मधुर ये पांच भाव मिलो गया जिसमें ब्रजवासियों का मूल का कोई नंद जसुदा का अनुग्रह करके भजन करता है उस भाव में स्थित होता है कोई प्रजगुपियों के भाव में कोई शुभ सिला भाग के भाव में स्थित होकर भजन करते इसलिए साधने भावी भी जा रहा सिद्ध दे पाई भी जा रहा साधन काल में जैसी चिंता होगी वैसे स्थिति काल में प्राप्त होगी अतः इस प्रकार भजन भजन करते हुए क्योंकि आपने मन प्राण हृदय को चिंता को इसमें आविष्ट करना है नहीं तो क्या होता है वृद्ध का आने पर चिंताएं आती हैं और वही स्वभाव बन जाता है कि अगला जीवन कैसे बनेगा और अगले जीवन में क्या करेंगे बुद्ध कलाने पर वही सब चिंताएं आएंगी तो जिसका जैसा कर्म जैसा विचार जैसा भावना वैसे ही
तो वैष्णवों ने मधु रस का भी वर्णन किया प्रजगोपियों के भाव का जहां प्रजगोपिया कृष्ण में अनुरक्त होने के कारण कृष्ण जिनको मनाते हैं इसलिए उस गोपियों के माधुर्य प्रेम को श्रेष्ठ बताया गया वहां प्रभु जी ने कहा कि वो सब आगे कहा अब इससे आगे राधा जी के प्रेम की महिमा का वर्णन करते हैं जो कि सर्वोत्तम रूप में उसका दिल रखा होता है Such 
questions. To my sister, for the generous part, success for the main key, Buddha to my name, with a prayer card, even a whole of money, key quay, Palaman, and Jerusalem. Ramananda Roy said, O Mahamu, you are the Supreme Lord Himself, the Supreme Controller, who can understand your will, even though you are the source of all tapa. Still, you are inquiring from me. I don't know what I am saying is good or bad, because you are the Supreme Doer. Therefore, this is the platform of Guru Tapa, Shakshara Karim Bayam Samasta The Supreme Lord directly speaks to him. The body is like a transparent bi-beam, like if there is a sheet of glass. Through the sheet of glass, you can see them, I can see you and you can see me. So in the form of a spiritual master, the Supreme Lord gives mercy and gives instructions to the devotee. And the devotee receives the mercy and instructions of the Supreme Lord through the spiritual master. Therefore, Prabhupada Kauai, Maya Bhari, Amitri Samyas, Bhakti Tattva, Mehi Jani, Maya Bhari. Bhakti said, I am Maya Bhari, Samyasi. I don't know anything about Krishna Tattva, Bhakti Tattva. But by the association of Salabon Vanacharya, my mind became inclined towards Bhakti. Therefore, please, I am requesting you to answer my questions. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu manifested the highest Chanakya Sunacharya. I don't know anything, only by the grace of Salabon Vanacharya, I bring broad and inspired by Bhakti. How perfect dealings between Vaishnavas. So we should also learn from Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Ray Mahaprabhu to offer respect to Vaishnava according to their position. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Lord and he's not crushing everyone. Ed, did you know? He's giving so much respect to Sri Ramananda Ray. Then Sri Ramananda Ray, very, very deep and important thing, Ramananda Ray answered. Ramananda Ray is hesitating. I am from a very low family, very low position. I can give answers to your question. You are the Supreme Lord Himself. He is the 
relations of unlimited and limited universes, such as on the throne of Madonna. That Madonna and Ananda is the Christian who has a spiritual body made of Sachi and Ananda. He is full of unlimited potencies and unlimited opulences, and he is complete in every respect. Because unless we understand the Tapur of Sri Krishna, unless we understand his Aishwarya, then there is no chance of understanding his Madhurya. Therefore, Sri Krishna is not just any boy being tied by his grind to the grinding water by his mother. He is not any just Krishna chasing after the village girls of Raj. Who is he? The Supreme Lord himself. Therefore, Sri Ramananda Roy established that Sri Krishna is not alone. He is always with his Shaktis. The other day we were here in Mahabali's not except the Shakti of Bhagavan. <coughs> without the Shakti of Bhagavan, then you cannot realize the Shakti of Bhagavan. Should have gone with my to say, without the sunlight, you cannot see the sun. In the same way, without the Shakti of Bhagavan, you have no power to approach him, no power to see him, even no power to chant his name. Even when Sri Krishna appears to be without Radharani, you should understand his Parashakti is there in a mortal form, in an unmanifested form. Krishna is never devoid of his Shakti. Therefore, Sri Ramananda Roy now establishes the Paratapa Sri Krishna, but the Paratapa Sri Krishna is always with his Shakti. Who is that Shakti? That is Sri Radhika himself. Therefore, Varika Purna Shakti Krishna Purna Shakti Maha Dui Vastu Vedi Shastra. Krishna himself is Sada Shakti Maha, the source and the enjoyer of all potencies. And Sri Mani Varika herself is that Parashakti, that supreme potency. Therefore, because Sri Chaitanya Mahapu asked Ramananda the right to establish everything by proof of Shastra. So, when Mahaprabhu met with Sadhavama also, then he established. You cannot say that the Paratapra is devoid of Shakti. The Mayavadi has always explained that Paratapra is near Shakti. He has no policy. Because if he has no policy, he can have no name or qualities or pastimes or associates either. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu argued with Sadhavama Paracharya, the first thing Mahaprabhu established is. Bhagavan has a potency, Vishnu Shakti, Parakvakta, Chetra, Kyana, the Tapa. Bhagavan has his Vishnu, has his Parashakti. He also has his Tatasta Shakti, and he has his Bharavya Shakti, that is Maya. And that supreme Shakti, her name is Siravika. Therefore, when Krishna is with his Shakti, he appears as most beautiful. Therefore, Teshama, Rajatari, Smaya, Maha, Mukha, Sri Ramananda Roy says, when Krishna is with his Shakti, and he appears most attractive. Therefore, why is Krishna manifest in the topmost sweetness? This Venu Madhurya, Vila Madhurya, Rupa Madhurya, and Prem Madhurya. Why those four beings are only in Sri Krishna and not in the other incarnation? Because there is only one Paratapa, there is not five or ten or fifteen or twenty Bhagavans. There is only one Bhagavan and one Shakti. And Sukadev so Goswami, why he says, Teshya Madhu Shori, Smaya Mahanu Kandito? Because no other Shakti, no other incarnation of Bhagavan is so close to the Shakti as Sri Krishna is. We hear that Lakshmi also serves the Rhyme, but great boy and reverence to Mahasaj is the leader of the Rhyme class. Therefore, there is so much distance between Narayana and Shakti Lakshmi. But Ram Chandra manifests more sweetness because he is closer to his Shakti Sita than Narayana. For example, Narayana never had any marriage ceremony with Lakshmi. Ram Chandra had marriage, even competition. There was no first meeting of Lakshmi Narayana, but there was a first meeting of Ram and Sita. Lakshmi was never carried away, and Narayan never felt separation from Lakshmi. But Ramachandra felt that separation from Lakshmi. Therefore, he manifested, because Ram is closer to his Shakti than his Narayan, then Ram manifests more sweetness than Narayan himself. He was 
Shakti, Yisurub Shakti. That Shakti which reveals Yisurub is called Yisurub Shakti. Because the right is closer to Shakti than the other incarnation, the right manifests so much more so. But see, Krishna, he is so close to Srimadhi Radha. He cannot live without her for one second. Then because he is so much absorbed in his room Shakti, then he manifests the topmost beauty, the topmost sweetness, the temptation of our choice by a man of And see, Krishna, when Radharani left Raslila, then we know, we heard from the Vaishnavas, the Gopis were searching for him everywhere. So finally, after the Gopis said in Gopini, then see, Krishna manifested there. Just like Guru Maharaj always explains, the nature of prayer is lost when it comes from the mouth. Just like you keep incense inside a room, that incense becomes very strong, very nice stuff. But as soon as you open the window, the incense runs out. And that smell is lost. Therefore, rather than the gopis never say to Krishna directly, I love you. They never say. Because the nature of prayer always remains confidential. Therefore, in fact, the gopis will act in such a way as if to show they have no love of Krishna. That is called Bhavi Bhav. When Krishna comes to Radha, he comes like this. And Krishna never gets a chance to hear how much the gopis love him. Because gopis will not say that in the nature of prayer, don't reveal itself directly. Prem not so about Buddha love of it, Prem is always in a crooked way. They were Krishna separated themselves from the gopis, the gopis manifested their prayer for Krishna and Vira, because Krishna is not there. And Guru Mahal says, really, Krishna must be there in a secret form, hearing all this. Gopis love me so much. So Krishna could not keep himself away, he manifested there, in the mandala of the Brajan gopis. At that time, all the gopis, they loved Krishna. How? They took their which was nicely fragrant by the kumkum from their bodies, and they put that cloth on the ground, millions and millions of gopis, put their very fine cloths on the ground as an asana for Krishna. So when Krishna sat on that asana, and how much he felt happy, also Krishna had done some apara, therefore, with his cloth around his pitango, around his neck, like sannyasi cloth. Sanyasi got bothered him with Sunday. Well, I give some donation. And Krishna also, like the gopis, I have done some opera, please give your up, your mind to me. That time Krishna was smiling very sweetly. Because Krishna, that time, accepted complete defeat from his potencies, the gopis. They were Krishna when he is that close to the gopis, begging their mercy, begging their forgiveness. He is completely dependent on his shakti. That time he manifested the complete sweetness. The taste of our wish to inspire the mind. Then with that time, Krishna being completely predominated by the prayer of the Gopi, is shakshak mani mani mani. So when a person says, at that time he manifested the topmost sweetness. Shakshak mani mani mani. Cupid, or mani mani, he churns the heart of every living entity. The sweetness Krishna manifested at that time, Chose the heart even of Cupid himself. Kandava Kodi Kamani Vishesh Sobhan Gurinda Mari Purushita Mari. So only Krishna Tapa alone is not complete, therefore Sri Ramadan and Roy describe Krishna Tapa with his Shanti. But therefore Guru Mahaprabhu says, when Krishna is there with Radharani, then he is one of the But then his qualities are manifested in the top of the body. I heard one very really nice explanation from Manasura Maharaj. It's a very easy way we can understand. If someone is alone in their room, no friends, no associates, then you cannot understand who they are or what they are. But when their family members, when their friends come in, then they begin laughing, joking, laughing, reading. Then you can understand, oh, what is the nature of that person? But alone, you cannot understand their nature. But when within their friends, their associates, in their house, then they manifest their real nature. The same way Krishna, when he manifests his Nam, Rup, Guna, Lila, and Parikata Shishta, when? When he is with his associates. Krishna always manifests his Rup according to the Shakti he is present.
become? Nanda Nanda. When Krishna is with his soda, then Krishna becomes his soda Nanda. When he's with Sulal Sridhar, then he becomes like that, friend. And when he's with Radhika, then he becomes Radharana. Therefore, Sri Ramananda right when he described Krishna Tapa immediately after he begins describing Radhika. When the parrots, the Sukha and Sali were arguing, the male parrots always on the side of Krishna, the female parrots always on the side of Radharani. And the male parrots say, Who is that Krishna? He is Mohan, Madhu Mohan. He is Mohan. And the gopis say, No, only when he is Krishna, then he is Madhu Mohan. Otherwise, he is only Mohan. <laughs> Sri Ramananda Roy, as soon as he describes, the Tatra of Krishna, he must also describe the Tatra of his Shanti. Therefore, then he describes the Tatra of Shimani Radhika. Akhila Rasamita Mohan Prasad Chimita Thai. The first verse of Sri Rasamita Sindhu. Sri Rupa Goswami describes. Who is that Akhila Rasamita Mohan? That is Krishna. Which Krishna? Who is surrounded by Tara, Pari, Shamala, Lalita? And Raya Priya and Vidu are Jayat. But only when Bhagavan is there, then he is Jayat. He is all victorious, all glorious. Singha Rasaraj Mai Murtila Tevatma Pajan Saar Chitaha. Therefore, all the melodies we have heard Sunday, Dasya, Sakya, and Vatsarya and Maguras, Singha Ras is the topmost. And that very personification of Srimadras, that is Srimadhi Radhika himself. Therefore, when Sri Ramadana describes Radhatava, as you can imagine what will come from his mouth. Because who is Sri Ramadana right? He's none other than Vishaka. Vishaka is no different than the soup of Radhika. We heard, we will hear afterwards, Radhika through Krishna Prema Kalpalata. Radhika, she is like the vine of Krishna Prem. Krishna is the Messiah of Ras. He is the object of Ras. So he is Rasaraj. The Sivari Radhika, she is the abode of all vows. All type of seva. Therefore, when that Ashray Jatya, that Ashray Bhagavan Sivari Radhika takes the shelter of Rishai Bhagavan Sivari See Krishna, then that vine climbs up. But that vine sometimes you see like if you put in the garden a tomato plant, the tomato grows up along the sea, then it grows above the sea and covers the sea. It goes up. You will see Radhika taking shelter with the feet of Sri Krishna. Goes up, finally even covers Sri Krishna himself. Therefore, Sri Ramananda Ray describes the glories of Sri Radhatapa. Many interesting things.
तब उनका स्वरूप का जो प्रकाश इस चरम रूप में प्रकाश तब जाकर के गजेंद्र मणि मंडल की मदद जमती देह स्तुति गजेंद्र पुरुष चंद्रमा स्वर्ग को अपनी नवजोति बात स्त्री निकल सकी गुलांगना निगिर देगा करण चिता करण को सकी जय श्री दत्त बंधु अगर कृष्ण के बंधु में कोई लहरिया है कोई स्वर है तो राजा जी उनके हृदय में लोग उत्पेरित करते हैं तो उनके हृदय से जो सुंदर लहरों का प्रकाश अन्यथा कृष्ण में अपना स्वयं का कोई प्रकाश नहीं होता पहले उन्हें वो जो अखिल रसा जो मुक्ति है अथवा शासन मन मत मन मत है कब है जब दाता माफी पहुंचो कृष्ण के दोनों स्वरूपों का वर्णन जो उनकी भगवत्ता और उनकी माधुरी पर लेखनों में जो माधुरी का जो स्वरूप है वो समस्त स्वरूपों के चरम प्रकाश का है कृष्ण जो कुछ भी है तब उनकी उतनी महिमा नहीं पड़ता जब कृष्ण राजा जी के चरणों में करते थे ही पद पदम उसमें कृष्ण नित्यम परस्त खंड मौर्य होकर बिराजते हैं और और कार्यों की महिमा तो है लेकिन जब भक्त के अधीनता को स्वीकार करते हैं भक्त वास्तव जो गुण है कृष्ण ने उस सारे गुणों से ऊपर उनको ले जा करके उनको चरम पुरुष परम भगवान कहते हैं उनकी राज्य कर और इतना परम भगवान होने के बाद इतना श्रेष्ठ होने के बाद उनकी भगवत्ता का प्रकाश राजा जी से होता है क्योंकि राजा जी का जो स्वरूप है वो भी बड़ा भी लक्षण है हर दिन कृष्ण के ऊपर भारी पड़े राजा जी के स्वरूप से जहां वर्णन करते हैं वहां पर श्री राय राम जी बोलते राजा जी के स्वरूप को मैं क्या बताऊं जहां पर कारुण्या भी कारुण्या भी सलावण्या भी धारा में स्नान करती हुई और अनंत भावों को जो श्रृंगार को धारण करती है जैसे पहले महाराज बता रहे थे कि मोटा एक फुट नित्य और दिगू के इत्यादि भावों को धारण करके अशेष भाव भाव धीर धीर आर उसी के होकर के जब वो मान को कुछ सिंहासन पर बैठते हैं जब मान को धारण करते हैं तो उस समय कृष्ण उस मान को पाने के उस मान के रत्न को उस सौंदर्य माधुर्य को स्वादन के लिए क्या नहीं करते कृष्ण अगर जाने कि मैं अपने सौंदर्य माधुर्य से वो पराजित कर उसको पाऊंगा प्रेम इतना प्रबल है कृष्ण के आगे उनके माधुर्य के आगे राजा जी का माधुर्य कभी कम नहीं पड़ता कृष्ण बहुत उनका बोलना उनका चलना उनके गति उनके निरीक्षण भी बड़ा मिला चलता है लजीले लजीले सब कुछ चीले सरस चीले सूरज चीले से कटीले और चीले चकटीले मटकीले है रूप से रूढ़ीले पहले अगुले उन्हें किले बारे चीले 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 से गतीले और कतीले है लगी तक की सोली घर किले भाव किले अति छकीले और छकीले नीले से नतीले आदि नैना नंद लाल के नचीले और नुकीले है इतने जो भाव है लेकिन जब राजा जी के सामने खड़ा होते हैं तो सारा उनका जो भाव है उसी के आगे निश्चित जब वो मान करके बैठे तो जितना भी चेष्टा प्रतिष्ठा करते हैं कृष्ण एक बहुत बड़े गीत हैं नायिका नाम शिरो रत्न है कृष्ण भगवान स्वयं समस्त नायकों को शिरो रत्न है और उनके कटास को घेर करके उनके बाल को कौन रोक सकता है महाभारत के प्रसंग में आता है कि कर्म एक समय हजारों बाल को चलाता है लेकिन कोई भी नहीं उसका एक बाल पर विफल कर दे अपना अपने दस दिन है लेकिन जब कृष्ण इतने भावों के साथ उनके सामने खड़ा होते हैं अक्षर अदा में मूर्ति होकर के तो श्री कभी कर्म पूर्ति करते पर ऐसे तो निश्चित कटाक्ष बाले हरे हृदय जो राजा जी इतने अवभाव को देख रहे थे हसी के द्वारा एक मुस्कुरा कर कृष्ण को देखते हैं इनका सारा सौंदर्य माधुर्य उनके चरणों में निष्पादक हो जाए बंदी करानी पतिदम अखरतम सिखंड कृष्ण जी के बस समझराज सुनो जच्चा प्रकाश सरकार विमोची दस्य सम राधिका चरण रेणु अनुस्मरानी करता है कृष्ण इतने बड़े तत्व हैं सबसे बड़े लेकिन यहाँ पर राज मंदिर बता रहे थे कृष्ण परम जो तत्व है इनकी प्रकाश है राजा जी के कारण क्योंकि न भाव बिना तू रहता न रस भाव कर दिया बिना भाव का रस नहीं हो सकता और बिना रस का भाव नहीं हो सकता और रस की जो चरम चमत्कार है वो है रस सार चमत्कार है चमत्कार एक अद्भुत चमत्कार इस जन्म में फिर जब इसके ऊपर आए तो आप देखेंगे कि क्या है नहीं है अटल भाव को वहीं पर रह गए अंदर का भाव उत्पादन करो क्योंकि सब जगह पर इसका प्रकाश नहीं किया जा सकता पांच साल का सभी जगह